Uh, we've got some stuff in and around quantum. I know a lot of that tends to be a buzzword, but there is stuff to consider there uh, and some very interesting stuff that's been going on this week. So let me break this down for my fellow Bitcoiners. In just eight weeks, I've seen a serious shift, more strength, more energy, and fast muscle gains. The reason? FitScript. They ran 124 biomarkers, blood, hormones, inflammation, and built a fully custom plan, nutrition, training, supplements, no guesswork, no templates. This is functional medicine meets precision fitness for high performing men who want sovereignty over their health. If you care about optimization the way you care about your money, test, don't guess, don't trust, verify. Hit the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen to check out FitScript and see what's possible. You opted out of the broken financial system by adopting Bitcoin and taking self-custody of your money. But protecting your wealth is only part of the equation. Now it's time to protect your freedom. My family is stacking sats and stacking flags. A second passport is our hedge against government overreach and uncertainty. If you're a Bitcoiner looking for your exit strategy, our friends at Citizen X will help you secure second citizenship through investment or dissent. Book your free call today by hitting the link in the show notes or simply scanning the QR code on the screen. I do want to uh, share an article that was dropped on um, by the Hum Human Rights Foundation, actually. Um, and it's talking about quantum and Bitcoin. A lot of people have discussed this before. Um, some people very dismissive, some people very worried, and a bunch of people probably somewhere in the middle or just don't know. And so this kind of examines uh, what some of the risks are. And so they've got some some key takeaways here. One is there's 1.72 million Bitcoin, around $188 billion worth in very early address types thought to be potentially dormant or lost. Uh, and it could be highly vulnerable to long range quantum attacks, meaning there's effectively a bounty out there uh, where people could gain access to this Bitcoin if quantum gets to a point where it can uh, uh, it can begin to break certain things. An additional 4.49 million Bitcoin are vulnerable to long range quantum attacks, but owners would be able to secure them by moving them to quantum secure address types. So changing the address types in the wallet could make them uh, secure. Short range quantum attacks could enable theft of Bitcoin during transactions while public keys are exposed. So public keys are exposed when you spend from a wallet. If it's a brand new wallet and you're depositing to addresses, the public key is not revealed. But when you spend out of that wallet, the public key is revealed and then the remaining funds are uh, potentially at risk from a quantum threat. Researchers are working to solve for both short and long range attack risk, but solutions could take years to implement. One proposed solution is to upgrade Bitcoin uh, to include a quantum secure address type, which would protect anyone able to move their coins. Another proposal addresses what to do with the coins that no one can or is willing to move. Do you wanna burn them so that thieves cannot plunder them? but that would sac sacrifice Bitcoin's neutrality in the process. I'm not a fan of the idea of burning them. I have a point on that one I'll get to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I'll do the last point here. Quantum resistant transactions would be significantly larger in data size than existing ones. This could dramatically increase the size of the Bitcoin blockchain, which is already facing scaling challenges. And we've seen plenty of uh, back and forth about additional data on the Bitcoin chain. I think if it's securing the monetary transactions, that's an entirely different thing than some of the other crap we've seen. But Nathan, I'll let you speak. No, I, was, there's a few things I want to touch on. One, I don't think this threat is as looming as some people do. Um, for me, I put it in the category of like, Iran is going to have nukes any day now. Quantum's always coming any day now. And so will it at some point? Possibly. I mean, getting like my understanding is very limited, but getting stable that level that you need of qubits, um, logical qubits is, is not it's not easy. And I don't think it's going to be a simple fix, but could come at some point. Um, one, it's easy enough that I think we will get a new address type. I think we can get consensus if the threat is real to get a new address type and move on to it. And the using up the block space, I'm kind of fine with that as well, too. I don't think Bitcoin has an immediate scaling issue. I'm still sending transactions on chain for one cent per V byte. Blocks are not full. Lightning's great. Liquid's great. 
arc is great. People are continuing to work on it. We got Cashew and eCash as well. And like I, the sad state, I hope it doesn't last forever. But like in a way, your ETFs are kind of another layered solution as well too because I think that's where a lot of the on-chain traffic is gone. So I don't have an immediate concern about scaling. It will to like the 8 billion plus people. It's going to need more, but I think we have more time. I think we have more time on upgrading the address type. And then with regards to, because I've, I've heard people talk about this, with regards to the stuff that can't be moved, Satoshi's coins, lost coins, all of these things as well. For me, the very simplistic um, philosophical position is you do nothing. You, you warn them and you let them know, but you do nothing. And I very much treat it like, I'm trying to think of it from an Austrian kind of property rights perspective. It's like a boat that had gold that sunk on the bottom of the ocean. If somebody goes and gets it, nothing was stolen, right? We're not we're not freezing addresses. We're not censoring transactions. If treasure hunters using quantum go and get lost Bitcoin, all right, then it's just back in circulation. Hey, it'll be on sale. We'll have that. Uh, it'll nuke from a million to five hundred thousand, and you can go ahead and buy some more. Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, I I think I'm on board with that thinking. Like if if that's kind of the reality of where this ends up going, hmm. I would far rather somebody you know find the hidden treasure yeah. than um than us to act in a way that makes existing Bitcoin and existing addresses no longer spendable. I think that's a much more dangerous thing to do. I agree. Um, as kind of like a, a quick heuristic, I just want to jam this in there as well too. I'm not making policy or consensus changes based on what people's per perception of what will happen to the fiat price. I don't care, right? If it's like, yeah, it might nuke, right? People are going to panic. A lot more could come on board. Who cares? At some point, we're not going to be measuring it in fiat anymore anyways. I'm not going to lock up coins at the risk of it like, oh, it'll sell off. It's, I don't care. That's not – it's completely antithetical to the mission that we're doing. 100%. 100%. And, and again, as it says in here and as a lot of people have been talking about, you know, um, at, at worst, we're kind of maybe looking at like – maybe like a five to 10, probably like a decade before this starts to be like, Ooh, like maybe we're getting close. Um, and so lots of time to, to prepare, but it is important to start talking about it now. What are the potential solutions? So on and so forth. And what's the most feasible one that gets everybody safe as quick as possible with as little effort as yeah. possible. That's kind of the important part. So um, now, just uh, in the realm of uh, HRF, because they wrote this article, I also wanted to give a shout out to them uh, because earlier today, I had a, a wonderful morning. Um, I spent my morning on a webinar. We often do webinars for human rights activists. And this group was uh, across Africa um, and we were helping human rights defenders and, and political dissidents from around Africa uh, download their first Bitcoin wallets and do their first transactions, uh, seeing censorship resistant money in action for the first time. And it's so cool seeing like, we have a full webinar, we're on, on like a big video call and everything. And the chat is going and I'm seeing people being like, oh my God, I didn't think this would be so easy. Like, holy crap, like I just, I downloaded this thing, I hit a button and and I received like a couple dollars from the other side. Like I'm sending two dollars to people yeah. in places yeah. like Tanzania uh, in in half a second, like from Canada. Mm -hmm. Crazy. And, and and yeah, it's it's really cool. One of my favorite things about doing this stuff, not only arming people most in need of censorship resistant money with the tools, but also a little selfishly i get to live vicariously through them and see them have those aha moments again and i get to remember i remember what that was like that first moment where i was like this changes everything and that is that is a moment to behold so you know find those moments where you can find the people that are interested and and watch them uh have their eyes light up the first time they see it because the the opportunity is not always going to be there eventually it'll be a common thing for people to just, you know, be like, you know, trying to amaze somebody with a smartphone today. Yeah. It's, it's like, well, everybody's got one of these. Eventually, everybody will know that you can send money in a censorship resistant way around the globe. So, hey, you. 
Yes, you watching the Bitcoin price movements and the latest exciting news. It's awesome to stay informed, but the real power of Bitcoin comes from taking control. Don't just watch, take action. Head over to btcsessions.ca slash learn for free step-by-step -step tutorials that guide you through every major skill you need to know, plus full video playlists for deeper dives on any topic you like. And if you're ready for the ultimate fast track, scroll to the bottom and check out BitcoinMentor.io for premium one-on-one -on -one experience with my team of Bitcoin experts to ensure you get it right the first time. Don't wait. Secure your Bitcoin future today. Hit the link in the show notes or scan the QR code on the screen.